Everybody, this is your boy Charismatic Lee, talking what I know, episode three. Today's topic is gentrification. Um, huge debate in urban planning and politics in this country, particularly because the definition of gentrification is the revitalizing and restructuring of a deteriorating neighborhood, particularly an urban neighborhood, particularly the hood. Um, where <clears throat> you tear down or renovate old houses and structures, put up new houses and businesses and structures, and then a more middle class or affluent um, group of people can move in because the people who did live there were probably poorer and now can't afford to live in those new houses, particularly black people, Latinos who live in the hood. Um, my stance is I'm all for gentrification. Now, call me a traitor to my race, which I'm not, but the point of it is, <clears throat> I'll give you an example. I drove down the block where I grew up about a week ago and I was extremely disheartened. On this block is about, hmm, we'll say 20 to 30 houses on each side of the street. And on each side of the street is about, let's say four to five houses that are not there anymore. That used to be there and I know exactly who lived there and probably have been in that house, which is now an abandoned lot where there's some grass and they parked their cars there. Um, there's about, I'll say seven or eight boarded up houses, um, houses that are dilapidated and falling down. Um, it was just disheartening to look at it. Like the block in general is just, there's like a lot of parking lots now on this block. And as you drive up and down the streets, in every hood, you see the same thing. Boarded up houses that somebody owns who doesn't even live in the neighborhood anymore, um, that it, that turns into like a crack house or somewhere where, they, where the hood hides, hides bodies. And that just frustrates me. Now, the issue with gentrification, honestly, where I think we start to really disagree is the execution of it. Because you have two sides, one side where you have people who may have purchased that house on that block, on that street, and have lived there for 30 years. And that's where their kids come home, and that's where everybody comes home and back to. Where if you are going to, um, if you want to rip down that group of row homes or that set of houses on that block, you have to probably pay them to move out or pay for them to temporarily stay somewhere, build something new there and let them move back in. A lot of people fight that in the urban neighborhoods. You know, you might get everybody on the block that is willing to take the money and move out or move away and come back. And there's, you know, always that one family, that one homeowner is like, nah, I'm not doing it. Like, I don't care about the corporations moving in, you know, trying to like move all of us out. I care about the community. I care about the neighborhood. I care about the people. And once you move everybody out, everybody's not going to move back. So you have a whole new neighborhood and now it's unfamiliar to you when you might have been living there for 30 years, maybe you grew up there. Uh, my issue with that is, like, I understand, but on the same token is like, if you see the block, you should want them to rip it down, rip everything down and build it back up. I think that the corporations and the companies that do do it should give the homeowners or the people who live there some type of incentive to say, all right, here's the plan. We'll... We got to do something to try to increase the property value on this block or in this neighborhood. Um, we have to do something to try to get you to come back. Maybe we give you some sort of stipend. Maybe, I don't know, we pay your taxes on your house. We got to decide something. But to do nothing, to say, oh, I hate gentrification. They're just trying to move us out. I think that's a bad idea. I think that the execution of it historically is is poor and favors the white man or the man um, as opposed to, you know, the poorer black people and the Hispanic people who live on the block, who live in the hood. So um, 
I'm all for gentrification. I'm not for the execution of it as it is now. And I think that we can come up with some ideas to try to improve how the gentrification happens, but I would rather it happen as opposed to uh, not happening at all. And then the whole block and the whole neighborhood is dilapidated and crime ridden and it attracts like low life. Um, I believe that's true. I, uh, I mean, the most common thing is like, where do the people live? Where are they going to go? We figure that out. We figure that out before we um, ask people to move out. So there we have it. I'm all for gentrification. Most black people aren't. Um, what do you think? I'm just talking what I know. Volume three, let's go.